So the Osmo Pocket, let me see it flip around, there we go. So let me tell you, I'm making this video because a lot of people ask me if, you know, is the Osmo Pocket any good? What do I think of it since, you know, I vlog a lot and I do a lot of videos? Well, I will tell you there's a few problems with it, but I will also say it's pretty darn good. So uh, one thing is that I'm recording at 4K 60 frames per second right now and face tracking is not available. <laughs> it will not track my face. Second thing is there's no removable battery on this here, you know, Osmo Pocket. So when I want to go someplace, I have to make sure I've got it fully charged. I can't just slap in a battery and uh, carry on. Next thing, it's not waterproof. All my vlogs that I do, uh, you can see it's winter right now around me. And uh, because of that, Oh, it's not tracking me anymore because there is no tracking in 4K60. Because of the winter, I'm out here in the rain and the snow, and this thing is not waterproof or weatherproof. So that's a problem for me for vlogging. And the field of view, look at this, how tight. Look at how big my head is in the image. I've got my arm extended as far as I possibly can. And uh, yeah, I'm not always in the image. So that's another problem. And then there's the focus. I'd say that's pretty much the last one, I think. The focus on the Osmo is a contrast focus, so if I'm not lit up well enough, it has difficulty focusing at a close distance, as we are right now. So that is somewhat of an issue uh, because it goes in and out of focus, just slightly. And the worst thing is when you record in 4K, which I do, a lot of times I like to zoom into what I recorded at in 4K, and if the focus is sort of going in and out slightly, when you zoom in, it looks even worse. So. Other than that, it's a great camera to vlog with. I'm not complaining about the audio on the Osmo because I don't really use it. So uh, I have to use it if it's a backup, but you see how windy it is right now? And if I switch to the audio on the Osmo, it's not gonna sound that great because the wind is just blowing, there's stuff flying all over me. So uh, I'll switch. I'm using a Tascam audio. There's a little uh, lapel mic on my jacket right here. And that just records everything digitally in a WAV file, which is super high quality. Remember before I was like this close, my head was always in the frame. Well, look where my head is now. It's because I've got it on a stick. I've got it on like a little dinky GoPro stick. So let me just grab my GoPro. Now you see my Osmo out front, probably see snow flying all over the place, got some sun happening. But I'm using this little GoPro extender handle here. And on the Osmo, I've got the bracket that you can buy from DJI. My bracket is flipped upside down because if you put the bracket on the proper way, well, then you can't fit anything else on it. You can't put this little wheel device on it. And with these little buttons, I can just press one with my gloves on and spin it around and look the opposite direction. So now I'm looking down the path that way, spin it around, look down the path this way. And if I want to turn the camera back to me, I can either flip the button or I can, right now I can use my little dial and go side to side. So I can look over on the side here or I can bring it back to me. So it's much easier that way for vlogging. I do the same thing with my GoPro Hero, but I put my Hero on an actual gimbal so I can get the same results. Now, the other cool thing with this little extender that I'm using here is that it becomes an actual tripod. So I'll leave the GoPro hat on and you'll see, I'll turn this whole thing into a tripod. So basically on the bottom right here, the sun screws and you have a little tripod stand pops out. There you go. There's your tripod. You can actually use this on your Osmo if you want. And this whole thing turns into a tripod. You know, I'll show you really quick. So there you can see my tripod all the way down there and I'm walking over to it. And I come down here and say, hey guys, you can see me on the little Osmo. <laughs> it looks pretty weird, but it's kind of handy if you're doing like time lapses or things like that. You just have this little tripod that you make and you can grab the whole thing and uh, take it with you. Now, one thing I should mention, if you're thinking of getting the little wheel device that goes on the Osmo Mobile, please note that as soon as you put it on, you can no longer use your phone with it unless you have the wireless device, the Bluetooth to connect to your phone, uh, because there's only one connector and you either have a connector to connect to your phone or the connector connects to the wheel. And uh, that's about it. So you got to pick which one you want to use. And if you're thinking of getting the DJI holder for the Osmo Mobile, please note the following. As soon as you attach it, if you attach it the way DJI wants you to attach it, then you can no longer connect to your phone because you're covering the spot where you would normally attach your device, your mobile to your phone. As well, you can't put the wheel on, so you can't use the wheel with it. But now you're probably wondering, hey, why, why there do I have the wheel on it? And how is it all attached? Well, if you see, uh, I don't know if you can see, maybe I'll bring it closer. I actually just attached it upside down. If you attach it upside down, you can actually fit it 
in a way, as I have here, that uh, you can attach it to anything and leave the wheel on. You could even attach it to your phone if you want. Um, and other stuff. Whoa, I'm sliding all over the place. That's ice back there. Sheer ice. So in my opinion, if you're thinking of getting the Osmo for the pure joy of uh, vlogging, well then, it's pretty awesome. And look at me, I've got these huge gloves on. These are actually gloves I got off the DJI website, and I can push all the buttons, especially when the wheel's on. It makes it so easy. So I'll spin that around to me. Face tracking automatically goes on. As long as you have it in 4K 30, you'll get face tracking. Another great thing is if you have an extension on your Osmo, it does have a flashlight mode. It's in flashlight mode now. And down to the bridge and the tree. So flashlight mode is pretty cool on the Osmo. I don't know how this is going to work. So I have in my right hand, I have the GoPro Hero 7 on a stabilized gimbal. And on my left hand, I have the Osmo Pocket. You'll note the wider uh, view of the GoPro here in my right hand. And I have both arms extended. The Osmo Pocket is actually on a <laughs> my extender. If I held the Osmo Pocket in my hand normally, it would be this close. So I've got it as far out as I can get it. And I've got GoPro Hero 7. I'm stretching as far as I can. And I'm going to try to walk forward. The sun's behind me. I'm going to flip around in a second. Just want to show what they look like with the sun behind me. The wider image and the tighter image. And I will flip around now. Nice and slow. And there we go. Now I'm walking into the sun. That's the difference if you're vlogging. Normally when I vlog with the GoPro, I vlog with my, right here. But it's such a wide view, like I'm only about maybe 9 inches from my nose, 8 inches from my nose, and the GoPro's right there. If I bring the Osmo to 9 inches, well, look at my head. It's the whole thing. <laughs> it's not pretty. So this is a good example. Right now I've got my arms outstretched and I'm going to walk over a bridge. Bridge is pretty small. The Osmo you really don't get the bridge in, but I bet you with the GoPro, the bridge is there. So even though I've got the Osmo stretched out as far as I can with the extender, you know, it's a tight shot. That's why I kind of like the GoPro uh, better for vlogging in certain situations. If I just want my head in the picture, then the Osmo is fine. But if I want a lot of stuff in the image, show my surroundings as I'm wandering around, then the uh, GoPro does well. So I'm running down here. And here I am running with both, going up this icy wall. Oh, did the Osmo lose me? That's another thing with the Osmo too. It will lose you. It doesn't face track 100%. Just going to put my GoPro hat away and stuff. So if you're thinking of getting the, uh, look at that, look, look at my GoPro. It's just like full of block of snow. So uh, if you're thinking of getting the Osmo for vlogging, you know, I use it for all sorts of things. It, it's good for certain situations and I use it in a lot of my videos and a lot of times the viewers, you the viewers, don't know I'm actually switching to the Osmo. I do find the Osmo is good when I'm trying to take product shots. So if I have a, a product in my hand or on the ground and I want to get a close-up, GoPro Hero 7 has a range that it only f allows you to focus when you get about this close, whereas the Osmo you can get a little bit closer. I think that's everything. All right. So let's go. Take my little Osmo. So this video is only my opinion of the Osmo Pocket, how I use it. You know, if you watch other views, you're gonna see other vloggers and they're gonna tell you what they like and don't like, and it'll probably be different than what I like and don't like. So uh, if you're a vlogger like me, then this will be good video for you. Bye, puppies. <laughs> that is a long way down. You can see my shadows going in the trees here. All right, so uh, what would you think of that video? Here, let me just recenter the camera. Oh, it's found me again. So uh, that brings me to the end of this here little short video. Hopefully it was short. Um, once again, these are just my opinions of the Osmo Pocket. So if they were helpful, then please give this video a thumbs up. Where's my head? Where is my head? <laughs> Where is my head? Where is my thumb? There we go. Oh my God, this thing is all over the place. That's a problem with the Osmo Pocket. So I'm gonna spin it around and bring it back to recenter it on me. And then it finds the head. As soon as DJI fixed that uh, face tracking and the follow me so it doesn't lose your face so easily, then, uh, you know, this would be an awesome, awesome, awesome device. 
But for now, it's a, it's a pretty good device. It's not awesome. It's just pretty good. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. There's my thumb this time. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video.